Hey, welcome to today's video. This video is like a follow on from the, oh, what was it called? Like the Christmas Eve chill, reorganize cleaning video that I put out on Christmas Eve. Um, in that video, I kind of like, I cleaned my shelves and reorganized them and I was planning on doing the cabinet as well, but I think that video is only like 15 minutes long, but just doing the shelves, I think, I think the like unedited video was like an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> um, it takes me a long time to do these things. So I didn't do the cabinet. There is a hair on my face. So I didn't do the cabinet in that video. And today I'm hoping to do the cabinet. I feel like I've got that kind of new year, declutter cleaning kind of bug going on like I want to just get everything looking really nice so the plan is to take everything out clean the shelves and also the doors because they are like they're not as clear as they could be they're a bit foggy so <laughs> gonna dig out the glass cleaner and clean clean the shelves and the doors because it's needed and then I want to like the ideal for the end of this video will be, I'll have like the majority of my anthuriums in there. They'll all look like gorgeous and luscious together and like, it'll be good. I'm hoping that can happen, but it might not because brain power and decision is not, we're not having, it's not the best day today. So I'm just gonna go with it, see what I can do. I would really like, I've got, at the moment there's only one glass shelf in there. So there's just two levels. I would really like to get the other glass shelf in there if the plants will allow it. Like the plants that I want to be in there might be too big. Um, we'll see. And I've got, I've been wanting to do this since August. I got given, um, you'll see them in a minute, like the black magnetic shelves. They're in there now, but they're not set up properly. But I was given those for my birthday and I've been wanting to sort this out since then. And it's now January. So <laughs> hopefully we can make it look really pretty, just tidy it up, get everything organized and looking lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, before we do get into the video, can we just take like a little minute to appreciate a wizard sleeve? Is that what they're called? A bell sleeve? I like to think of them as wizard sleeves. <laughs> um, this top's new and I'm just really enjoying the flappy, <laughs> the fluffiness of the sleeves. Anyway, um, I have got my Mother Life Grow Light just here because it is a very cloudy, dreary day today and I feel like the plants could just do with a little bit more light. But if I put the um, like the LED strip lights on, it kind of, like when the doors are open, it's kind of blinding to sit in amongst those lights. So I'm hoping I, can, I don't have to switch those LED lights on. I might at some point in the video. I don't know. Okay, let's just do this. I'm really procrastinating starting this task. Uh, give this video a little thumbs up now if you enjoy like decluttering, cleaning, reorganizing plant content. I freaking love that kind of content. So I'm really hoping that you enjoy it too. I'm not going to enjoy doing it, but I hope, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> right, stop pressing. Let's just do this. So, so I thought I would show you what the cabinet is looking like now up close. So this is it. You can see there's just this one very dusty glass shelf. I've got some Hoyas, some Philodendron and some Anthurium down here. Um, mostly Anthurium in this section. There's just the Jewel Orchid here and a Syngonium. Oh, and a Philodendron. Um, so yeah, this is kind of what it's looking like. This is the magnetic shelf I was talking about. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see what we can do with this to make it look better. Look at those roots. They're amazing. <laughs> oh, look what I've just spotted. Can you see? Hopefully it's not like focusing on my face. New Anthurium Nagulanum GG stump leaf. That's exciting.
these shelves are really good like this whole back strip is magnetic and they do they they stick Apparently it's 14.7 degrees today in the cabinet and I've said before the cabinet's not that much different to the outside temperature so that's not good. I don't feel that cold though. I definitely need it to not be that cold in the cabinet. Um, I feel like it's really recently that I put out my Equigenera updates video and it was looking fine then but I, I think damn I think I've accidentally kept the Trunky Cola wet stick too wet and it looks like It looks like the rot has spread through to the to the um node this bit here so i i think that's a goner which is really sad that was the last bit of the trunky cola that i had left so i, I, I think i'm now trunky cola less which is really sad but it happens it does happen with imports like Take it as a loss. I can always order it again and try again. <laughs> Bit sad. <laughs> Look away now if you don't like spiders. There it is. You might not even be able to see it. There's a spider like here on my Hoya Obervata. <laughs> That's such a, it's like clear. It's like a see-through spider. I've never really seen one like that before. I'm gonna show it one more time. <laughs> I've no idea. I'm hoping it's focusing, but it might not be. I mean, I'm not mad about a spider being in the cabinet. It can eat any pests it wants in there. Spider's gone now, so if you, looked away. <laughs> it's safe to look again. <laughs> Just spotted a fungus gnat in the Anthurium villanorum. I had seen a couple flapping around in the cabinet and I couldn't really figure out where they came from because the majority of the plants in here are like in a kind of soil or semi-hydro substrate but maybe that's the culprit. I'm going to have to do a fungus gnat treatment. <laughs> Okay, let's show you how gross. Okay, so this is the cabinet without any plants in it. You can see how dirty the shelf has gotten. Look at all those rings. And then this shelf down here. So I'm gonna clean it up and then get back to putting plants in. I really hate cleaning glass. <laughs> like specifically glass that you have to look through. Like I can never get it streak free. Like if, if any of you have any recommendations, yeah. any recommendations for like really good glass cleaner, please let me know. <laughs> like I 
feel like the grass looks worse than when I saw it. Totally understand why I was procrastinating. I hate cleaning glass. <laughs> I think it looks okay. I hope like oh, I just I hope I haven't just like smudged <laughs> everything and it's like it looks worse than it did before. Hopefully that's not the case. Um, I've got the top shelf back in now and I'm just gonna give it like 10 minutes ish um, just to like settle because one of the cleaning products was a little bit fumey so I don't want to like put the plants in and like enclose them in although I could just leave the doors open but I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna give the cabinets time to air out the plants and more time to chill out and just also me some time to chill out too. My queen has already ruined my plants. Four of them. As you can see, <laughs> her leaves go over the shelf line and also below the shelf line, but I can, I can close the door and have her like not, like she's not squished, like I can still move her. But there won't be much like airflow in front of the leaf, which obviously I do want, I want the airflow. The options are to take the shelf out again or to have her out on the shelves. But I really wanted her in the cabinet. I'm gonna have to take the shelf out, aren't I? Will she fit into one of these? Oh, okay. I don't know why I wasn't expecting her pot to fit in one of these, so maybe she can go on one of these. Okay. Right. Take that shelf out again then. <laughs> okay. I've taken the shelf out, which I am really sad about it. Like, yeah, I'm sad about it. Whatever. Um, I picked up this shelf so I this is an Ikea like spice rack shelf I think that was originally in white and I've like quite poorly spray painted it black with the intention of putting it in the cabinet and I did this like back in the summer so I've gone and grabbed this I've got my magnetic spice rack shelves they were from Amazon I'll have them linked below in case anybody's interested let's just see where we go I am really sad <laughs> that glass shelf isn't going to fit in there. Um, okay. Oh, they're really, really thick. They came with these little, like, hooks. And I've kept them with them because I like the idea of being able to like hook a pot on there but I haven't actually got any pots that are hookable at the moment but I'm just going to keep them keep them with them still and I've also got these little mini black S hooks that I've got for the same reason um, but again haven't really had anything that I've, like I suppose like little plastic pots that you can put a hole in to hook them on I just haven't got or done that yet so but that's part of the plan Right. How am I gonna Oh, that leaf. I really um I 
really want my power of the form in there, don't I? Power of the form, pack of the laminate. Too much, but it needs to be it needs to be on something because of that leaf. So I'll go a smaller platform that I have extra bit of shorter. I need, I need to make like fast decisions, like maybe the queen could go here. Oh yeah, okay. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, I'll need to I'll need to move that shelf down a bit if I want the queen to go there. Shoot. They're really hard to move once they're You probably can't see it, but this is a new growth point on the, <laughs> the lanum, so I don't, it's not going to be able to stay like this for very long at all, is it? I mean, hopefully, because hopefully it'll just start, you know, pushing out some new growth. Is that even enough? It's not. Go on the same level. Maybe I should just chop that old leaf off. Pulls in Abbott. I can't even, I can't tell. I think it looks okay for now. Right, let's see if I can get this shelf off and put it back up a little bit. Okay. I don't think that's straight, but it'll it'll do. Right, who can go? Obviously some of the massive ones are not going to be able to go back in. That is so not straight, is it? Oh god. I definitely want the sagittatum in there. Okay. Yeah, I think that's better. I, I think that's better. Oh, I want, oh, I want this eye. I want my forgetty eye in here. This is old. I might end up taking that leaf off just to make it a little bit easier to position it. Honestly, just seeing grows in such a weird way, but maybe. Maybe that one can go up there. Yeah, does that look okay? Maybe. So my verde up there, and I've got my pile of form. I don't think pile of form can go in here. That's the strappy long one. And I've got my crystalline, no, my clarinobium, which just hates me right now. Honestly, we used to love each other. We're not getting on right now. I don't think I want my verde in here i think i want that to stay because it does so well out and i mean i i act like i'm talking like this cabinet has like loads of magical benefits but it really doesn't it's just a very similar environment to the room temperature environment that i have or that i can offer
Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know when I watered this, but I obviously put way too, can you see that water line? Christ, does it even have any roots in there? I'm not just pouring it out onto cut, I've got a watering can here. I can see look okay but this is a crystallinum seedling Christ a drowned crystallinum seedling I can't even remember when I watered like it wasn't yesterday was it the day before good grief that's not good Chunky cola, there's no point putting it back in. I will chop that main bit of rot off. I'll chop the main bit of rot off off the top and see if it does spread internally into the nose, but the outside looks not good. So I'm not keeping my fingers crossed. Um, I don't think there are any other anthuriums to go on those on that shelf. I feel like it looks so much better. It would be nice to have this one in there too, but it's just, it's not, I can't, <laughs> it's not practical. Maybe when I chop it, I could probably chop it here and it could probably go back in there, but I'm not going to do that today. So it's just going to have to hang out at room temperature and humidity. Although as I said earlier, so did I showed you, didn't I, at the beginning? Um, it was like 80 something humidity and 14 something in the cabinet and now it's so this has been sat outside so it says 74 percent humidity and 15.7 um, temperature I imagine the temperature's just gone up because it's gotten later in the day as opposed to it being warmer out here than it is when the cupboards are the cupboards when the glass doors are shut but who knows um oh I knew I'd forget him when I put him up there. My Anthurium Muvianum. Yeah, I think that's all of the Anthuriums to go in there. So now I need to do the bottom shelf. So I'm thinking I've got my Philodendron Florida Beauty. I definitely want in there and I've got this is um a reverted philodendron florida beauty so I got them both from Michaela who is please send notes on Instagram um and I bought this it, I bought it as a reverted philodendron florida beauty for like eight pound or something just on the off chance that maybe <laughs> it might shoot out some variegation which it hasn't but I still like I love the leaf shape of these philodendrons so I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna keep it with it and then I've got I've got a philodendron <clears throat> a philodendron florida ghost so they're all the kind of same type of philodendron but different I might it's really random like old candle that's red but I might sit sit you on it as a platform for now I'd like to get some more like actual proper kind of platforms this leaf is so awkward I think I'll probably end up chopping that off at some point it's like go there I know this bottom shelf's not it's not gonna look as good as I want it to. I have nothing else. This is my um Maco is Macaulay's Peto Peto Petola. 
uh, this was my Christmas present from Steve. I haven't repotted it or anything yet. And probably should. But I'm just gonna just gonna pop that in there. Maybe maybe front and center, or maybe just slightly off. There, is that pretty there? I would really like my Hoya Dekie to be in the cabinet. So it does look like there's like a possible, possible new bit of proof. I said in my last video, my party goals for 2023 is to glow up my Hoyas, like to make them grow. I am really worried that they have like flat mites. And I know the, like the internet's just blown up about talking about flat mites on Hoyas. Um, I am a bit worried and it makes me nervous obviously they've been in the cabinet so like anything that's in the cabinet could have them I guess but it makes me a smidge nervous putting them back in the cabinet um I don't really know what flat mite damage looks like but they haven't been growing and I know that's kind of part of it but we will we will see we'll see what happens like the treatment is kind of like people use the sulfur so i could just get some sulfur treatment without having to actually diagnose it properly with like flat mites now is that spider still here he's still here i'm gonna put this one back in there I would really love my Hoya Oberbara to grow. I love massive, massive, massive Oberbaras. So that is definitely a goal for 2023. I would love my Hoya Oberbara to grow. I've got this, the Hoya that I don't know the name of. Maybe I'll keep that one out of the cabinet. I don't know. I've got this. This is just a moss pot box. I don't actually know what's in there. It could be, maybe some syndapsis, I don't know what kind. Possibly some Rastafora, again, not really sure what kind, and possibly some Amedrium Green. Okay. None of them seem to be doing all that much, to be completely honest because they don't have a lot of light but there's that then there's my Hoya Cotissii I think I'm going to keep this one out of the cabinet even though it is really enjoying it like all of this new growth is from in there I just it just takes up a lot of room that's what I was saying it is really raining who else oh is that it the only other thing that was in there that hasn't gone back in yet is my Albo Syngonium, which is just leaning aggressively. Ooh, it looks like it's got some, I don't think, it just looked weird, wouldn't it, in there? <laughs> I am thinking about chopping, oh, I am thinking about chopping this one, to be honest, to make a small bushy plant like I did with my Mihito, which is um, still rooting. Maybe I'll do that. I'll put that one. It doesn't need to be in the cabinet. I'll put that one over there. Is there anything that can like fill that little gap? I don't think so. I think I'm done. I think I'm done in the cabinet. I've just checked and I've been filming for over an hour. My husband will be getting home soon. So I would like to just clear the walkway. Like I know you can't see it, but there's like cleaning products and like dead leaves and stuff over here. There's like leftover plants that need to be rehomed over here. And so I'm not gonna film all of that bit. Um, I'm just gonna tidy up off camera, but 
I'm gonna show you what the plants look like now, like what the cabinet looks like now up close. So this is the cabinet. I'm gonna start at the bottom. So I've got a couple of Hoyas down here. My Hoya is something splash, my Hoya Overbarter and my Hoya Zapier. I've got my Dual Orchids, the Mecocobis Petola, I think that's how you say its name, I don't know. My Philodendron Florida Beauty, my Philodendron Florida Ghost and my Philodendron Florida Green that is a reverted Florida Beauty. And then here is a a Roche box with <laughs> some propagations in it and then up here this is all anthuriums it's not all of my anthuriums um I think that that's because I need the light for you oh, is that a bit nicer for you to see maybe um I'm not gonna go through and name all of them but show you where they're all sitting, what they're all looking like. I think I'm happy with it. I think, let me know in the comments. I've moved the light in now, I don't know if it's like glaring off my glasses, so I'm sorry if it is. What do you think? Does it look better? I feel like it does look better than it did before, I think. I'll probably end up moving things around like I would like to get this guy in there once I've chopped him I just need to do that if you watch my last video you'll know that I struggle with <laughs> nearly fell over struggle with chopping my plants <laughs> um so I need to do that so that I can look after it better and yeah if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up it really helps us on YouTube and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next one Bye.